The roller coaster accident makes the front page of the paper, but the horse theft doesn't. Nancy can receive email, but she can't send email. Probably because if her email worked, I would spam her boyfriend with dumb messages. The subtitles say there are three knocks, even if the person at the door only knocks twice. The french fries come pre-dipped in ketchup. Gross. The menu promises a one-patty burger, but this burger is clearly two patties. The menu says the burger comes with a dill pickle spear, but I don't see any pickles! Health matter. Well, whatever. Operator insults Nancy for eating healthy. What is the flag to the right of the hotel door? It looks like the Italian flag, but the stripes are facing the wrong direction. The people in the hotel lobby never move ever. How does Harlan spin his chair around when his feet aren't touching the ground? Oh, I worked in a store. Department store. Harlan is obviously lying here, but Nancy doesn't call him out on it. 2003 security system uses black and white VHS tapes. Harlan changes out a few red tags over the course of the game, but the inside of the circuit breaker system never changes. The map has buildings we can't go to. The map doesn't indicate where the bathrooms, concessions, or gift shops are. Considering the park's nautical theme, it really should be called the Haunted Carousel. The carousel is the only location in the game without a subtitle. Kind of a weird thing to overlook. The carousel horses don't have seat belts. The carousel was robbed a week ago, but it still hasn't been cleaned up. Nancy uses the carousel multiple times, but the dust from the robbery never moves at all. Nancy always picks the same carousel horse every single time. Nancy is boring. Nancy moves this big heavy organ with no problems whatsoever. The carousel is malfunctioning for the first time in years, but Paul has still let Tink the carousel manager go on vacation. The amusement park has two ferris wheels. When you're riding the carousel, the pink ferris wheel stays in place, while the purple one is all the way over here. The Brass Ring Puzzle The brass ring game is intended for children, but it's so dangerous it puts Nancy in the hospital. Here it comes again! Nancy prompts you to get the brass ring, even if you already have it. If Nancy wants the brass ring that badly, she could always walk over and take it when the carousel isn't in motion. Sure, that's cheating, but it's better than risking death. Sorry about the mess. Oh yeah, there's totally a huge mess here, right. Joy color coordinates her shirt with Miles' blanket. Joy has no problems badmouthing her boss to a complete stranger. Joy feels the need to tell Nancy her entire life story. Frankly, I think the reason she hired me was guilt. And I'm not entirely ungrateful. That sounds pretty ungrateful to me. He's behind in his work and needs to catch up. Miss Santos has been getting on my case about it. Why doesn't she get on Elliot's case about it? It's not Joy's fault he's late. Joy's a bookkeeper. Why is she in charge of the art director? My mother died when I was four. My mother died when I was really young, too. At least until the silent spy when they decide Nancy's mother died when she was ten. Joy has no idea her mother bought a carousel horse for her, but by huge coincidence, Joy just happened to be reading about that exact same sale moments before Nancy came in. It's great how Nancy forces George and Bess to research stenography for her in this game, but it also makes me angry, because she can't dump boring jobs onto other people more often. This is a cool-looking ride that we never get to see. Elliot does disco dancing! Why is Ingrid's room the only place in the park that's protected with a coded lock? Ingrid isn't working on the malfunctioning roller coaster or the malfunctioning carousel. Some chief engineer. You've got B3 issues. And you've got BO issues, but I'm polite enough not to mention it. Unless you'd like to do it for me. Nancy does everyone else's chores cliche. Ingrid gives jobs to a teenager with no experience in engineering or maintenance. Ingrid's Fix the Circuit Breaker chore includes two different sub-chores. What is that noise? Nancy doesn't recognize the sound of sawing. Even if you go directly to the haunted house after talking to Ingrid, Ingrid somehow beats you there and activates the card reader. Non-functioning machine is left in the haunted house instead of being sent to engineering for repairs. Elliot's hair. Elliot's shirt is covered in paint, even though he never paints anything. So the horse wasn't valuable? Nope. 
Elliot tells an obvious lie that is easily disproven. He's not very good at being a culprit, is he? Why did Elliot borrow Ingrid's soldering gun? That has nothing to do with art. Could I have some of these tissue strips? Nancy takes all of the tissue strips. Joy normally keeps Miles covered up, but she uncovers him just for today so Nancy can meet him. Joy's father created a fully sentient robot out of common household items. The Midway games force you to pick between two different difficulty settings, which completely negates the purpose of choosing between Junior Mode and Senior Mode difficulty settings before starting the game. They have three Swimmer's Itch machines. Is the game really that popular? Hoop Tossing Challenge reused from game number six. Make one mistake with this puzzle and you have to restart from the beginning again. There's no way to know in advance how effective each setting is, you just have to guess and hope you get it right. The squid animation is the same for all three rounds of the game, even though it should look different every single time, since some hoops are closer to the wall than others. Miss Squids always land in the exact center of the board, even if they should land somewhere else. This takes an employee it access card. The tag until I... Nancy talks at the same time Nancy talks. The game tricked me into thinking I had to do math in order to solve this puzzle. When you solder an area twice, that makes the soldering disappear. In real life, it doesn't work like that. Me, I get stuff done right away. You do too, I'll bet. Well, I try. Harlan is nice to Nancy, but she could not care less. Paula instantly fires Nancy whenever she's injured. Paula is a jerk. Nancy's investigation of the roller coaster involves looking at a pencil and nothing else. Why did Joy bring this pencil along with her when she sabotaged the roller coaster? It's almost like she was trying to leave behind incriminating evidence. Nancy's mom jeans. How did Elliot activate the roller coaster? How did Elliot know when to activate the roller coaster? If he had been just a second off, this death trap wouldn't have worked. Why does Elliot think Nancy is such a huge threat she must be killed? All Nancy's done so far is play arcade games and find a pencil. The roller coaster hits Nancy in the stomach, even though she's standing to the side of the tracks. There are six ways to connect these. I'll just have to try them all. This puzzle is solved through random guessing. They put a puzzle in the emergency system, thereby making it much harder to access the system in case of an emergency. Nancy never gets to ride the roller coaster, so unfair. Maybe you accidentally tripped a switch. Nancy almost dies, and Joy's first response is to blame her for it. Nancy argues that Joy must be the culprit because there was a chewed pencil at the crime scene. The only way this argument works is if nobody but Joy knows how to chew pencils. Joy, while you were gone, the Nancy Drew entity came in here and snooped. Miles is a tattletale. Miles accuses Nancy of snooping, even if you didn't search Joy's office. I keep him covered when I know I'm going to have company. If Joy dislikes Miles so much, why doesn't she keep him covered all of the time? Joy, Trent, is a party pooping stick in the mud. Joy's father programmed his robot to insult her. Why is there a bike handle on top of Miles? Does it do anything, or is it just there for decoration? I think it's neat that you're so gutsy. Especially since I'm so... not gutsy. Joy doesn't think sabotaging the roller coaster is gutsy. Let's hear the first riddle. Joy has had Miles for months, and she's never heard his first riddle until just now. Joy doesn't even try to solve Miles' riddles. Useless instructions don't give you all of the information you need, just so there can be a puzzle. Barnacle Blast! Make a mistake, and you'll have to restart the entire level over from the beginning again. Why is there a timer for this minigame? It takes forever to finish this game if there's just one or two barnacles left. Out of stock, aka we didn't want to program any more prizes. A boat and a rubber shark combined cost less than a harmonica. You can't order a fun day until Elliot solves this riddle. Why is this letter in the rafters of the carousel? Culprit purposely leaves behind incriminating evidence that they easily could have removed. Security guard doesn't secure his locker combination. This security camera is focused on a ride that we never get to see. How did Harlan get his day planner so messy? Day planner has no box for Sunday. The security camera can zoom in, but it can't record in color. The tape hasn't changed, even though Nancy didn't rewind it. There's a huge tape which only covers five seconds of footage. Why does the fun day come with a fork and a knife? 
Who has $22,000 in cash? Nancy can snoop in Ingrid's area, but she can't use Ingrid's computer. I'm afraid I've discovered something kind of disturbing about Harlan. What, that he's an ex-con? I know. Paula purposely hides information from Nancy to make Harlan seem suspicious. Miles has a 3D scanner. Where does the fun day spoon go? Where did this piece of paper come from? Nancy irons the letter unevenly, but all parts of the letter come out equally done. I have been programmed to give you one hint. Miles' hint mentions Tink and the paper roll. That is two hints, not one. Nancy calls Tink in another country, even though she doesn't use the area code or the country code. Nancy talks to the carousel operator about the organ, not the carousel. I didn't drive 900 miles into the Canadian wilderness. And yet, he still gets perfect cell phone reception. This looks a little like the inside of my aunt's player piano. We were inside Aunt Eloise's house in the first game. She doesn't have a player piano. Elliot leaves as soon as Nancy tells him she's going to do something dangerous, which could put her in the hospital. Well, I'm at Rose's right now in San Francisco. Say hi to Charlie for me. Will do. Easter egg phone call has passed Nancy tell future Nancy to talk to Charlie when it should be the other way around. Organ has a CD option, but no obvious CDs or CD player. The parole officer tells you everything about Harlan, because confidentiality isn't a thing anymore. What is Elliot working on? Looks like the seahorse that's in his room, but that's already finished. Nancy asks permission to take the tissue strips from Elliot, but she steals all of his tape without asking. Paula tattletales on Nancy to Harlan. What an awful boss. Harlan's questions don't have question marks. Nancy's ellipsis only has two periods. Will Nancy Drew please report to the security office? What? I just left there! Harlan goes to hating Nancy to liking her again so fast I got whiplash. Joy recognizes the song Nancy plays even if Nancy takes huge pauses in between each note. Joy says she sabotaged a roller coaster because she blamed Miss Santos for her father's death. Her father died months ago, so why did she wait until just now before exacting revenge? According to the late Daryl Trent, When did Nancy learn the first name of Joy's father? According to these emails, Hannah Gruen falls to pieces whenever Nancy's not around, which is pretty much all the time, so Hannah's life must be a wreck. The flag game on Nancy's computer is fun, but it doesn't really serve any purpose whatsoever. Nancy finds a hidden passageway cliché. Elliot lures Nancy into this death trap with the pliers that she needs in order to beat the game. Culprit accidentally foils their own plot. Fortunately, the death trap has a five second delay, giving Nancy enough time to escape. How did Elliot know to drop the fish at this exact moment? Was he here for hours waiting for Nancy to stop by? Where did the fish come from, anyway? After reading Kessler's letter, Nancy knows this area has a secret entrance to his workshop, but she doesn't bother to search for it. Nancy tells Ingrid that she found her missing pliers, but Nancy doesn't give the pliers back to Ingrid. Nancy can accuse Ingrid of breaking the roller coaster after Joy already confessed to sabotaging it. I kept it secret because it could be construed as conflict of interest. Uh, no, it is a conflict of interest. He paid you over $20,000 to do it. Someone made a tape of you entering your security code into the keypad outside, which I just happened to see. This sentence has a misplaced modifier. Nancy, being groovy is no excuse for abandoning basic grammar. I remove your nice and deficient little self from my office. This isn't an office. Ingrid's hands are clearly not touching the arm. Got the arm right here. Just needed a battery. If the spook runs on battery power, why does it need to be turned on by Harlan before it will work? I don't understand what this spook is supposed to be. It's like a ghost and a fish. Is it a ghost fish? Because that's not scary. How did Elliot get Sukov's phone number? Nancy can't ask Sukov why Elliot called him. No way is the tiny brass ring that large. So nobody noticed this sign up against the ceiling? It was just hanging there for months? Nobody looked up and saw it? Right. Nancy fails at using stairs. Nancy manages to thoroughly destroy all of these stairs without being injured. How did the jewel thief hide these jewels inside the horse? The newspaper says he was being actively chased by police at the time. 
Joy's parents didn't notice the jewels inside the horse that they bought. By coincidence, the one horse Joy's parents bought is the same horse that has jewels inside! Elliot never noticed this horse was here inside the secret area that he's been working out of for months. Sassy Detective Email just happens to describe the exact same scenario Nancy encounters in this culprit capture. Nancy leaves behind the pearl necklace for no apparent reason. Nancy reads Joy's private letter. Why is Elliot here at the same time as Nancy? This creepy death sequence. Nancy doesn't put up a fight when Elliot strangles her. The jewelry stays in Nancy's inventory after she throws it at Elliot. How did Elliot close the door from all the way over there? Instead of moving around the sign, Elliot stands in place behind it, giving Nancy enough time to defeat him. Culprit accidentally foils their own plot. Nancy is electrocuted when she tries running away from Elliot. Why? How? You might as well give up. Quick, Nancy, you're back inside cell phone range. Call the police! It would be rude to use my phone now. Oh my gosh, Nancy. Elliot fell back first onto a broken staircase. He is dead right now. Nancy murdered him. The newspaper printed its headline so it could still be visible under the Zaptec device. He knew that publicity from the hauntings would increase the value of his forgeries. And yet all the information in his secret lab indicates he is weeks away from finishing his first forgery. Elliot has really bad timing. Did he share the credit for busting Elliot? Why did Harlan get credit? He did nothing. Ingrid's sign in the ending was not in the actual game itself, even though she left her room multiple times. Quack? Preview of the next game consists of Nancy telling Bess and George information that they already know. The voice actress for the hotel operator isn't in the credits.